And later they want me to find that derivative at x equals negative 1. What I'm basically doing is finding the slope of the line tangent to this curve when x is negative 1. So if you were to look at a picture of this, you're finding the slope of the line when x is negative 1. That gives you the, ta uh, the tangent line. So on this one, is it in the form I need it in to be able to use the power rule? It is? No. What's wrong with it? The numerator and the numerator. Variables aren't where we need them. We need them in the numerator. So we're going to do algebra rewrite. Since I'm not doing the calculus yet, I must continue writing the derivative part because we have not found the derivative yet. Okay? How do we rewrite that? X. X to the? Negative. Three. Negative 3, fabulous, minus x to the what power? Two. Negative 1. Negative 1. Remember, if you don't see an exponent, it's understood to be a 1 there. Plus. And then plus, is there anything wrong with this squared. piece? x squared. That one's fine. Now, is that in the proper form so we can use that power rule? Yes. Yes. So if we are going to use the power rule, you can stop writing the derivative expression because we are about to take the derivative. So what do we get for the derivative of the first term? Negative 3x to, to, to the negative 6. Careful, remember there's a tracing four. one. Negative 4. All right, what next? Negative 1, no, positive 1. Positive 1x to the? Negative 2. Negative 2. I know there's more out there than Angelica. Plus? 2x. 2x. Fabulous. Now, can we rewrite that without negative exponents? Yes. So what do we get when we rewrite this without negative exponents? We're, we got to flip it. So what is it going to look like? You're only flipping the variables. We already did that part. We did the times and minus. So it's one. I mean three. Negative three. Negative three over x. To the fourth power. To the fourth power, uh-huh. Plus. Plus. <coughs> one, over x. one over x to the square. square. Very good. Plus 2x. That is the derivative, but we still have to evaluate the derivative where? At the bottom. At where did they tell me? They want the slope generated at x equals negative one. So at that point, we're just gonna plug in negative 1. Let's see what we get. What's negative 1 to the fourth power? 1. 1. So that means I'm just going to be left with a negative 3 there. Negative 1 squared is? 1. So 1 over 1 is plus 1. Minus 2. Minus 2. What is that going to give me? Negative 4. Negative 4 is absolutely correct. Questions, ladies and gentlemen. The power rule is multiply the exponent by the coefficient, subtract 1 from the exponent. Power rule for derivatives. If you're going to do the power rule for derivatives, you have radicals, you've got to rewrite them as rational or fraction exponents. If you have variables in the denominator, you need to do the inverse and rewrite them where the variables are in the numerator. Any questions? So Let me make up one more. Yes, ma'am. Is secant inverse theta one of the cosine inverse theta? Is secant what? Inverse the same as one of the cosine. It is the same as one of the cosine. Yes, ma'am. All right. I'm going to make up one. Yes, How do we attack that one? First problem is there are actually two ways to do this when one you don't know yet. When you have a rational function, 
there is a rule to be able to take that derivative, but we haven't learned it yet. So as a result, we have to do it the other way. We, we simplify this using algebra. Well, we haven't done that yet because we need single terms. Right now, we've got a rational expression. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite each one of these as single terms over x squared. This is 5x to the fourth over x squared, right? Minus what? 8x over x squared plus 2x over x squared minus 1 over x squared. Now, simplify that. What is x to the fourth over x squared? Subtract the exponents. That's how you do that. Subtract the exponents when you're dividing. And the bases are the same. So we get 5x what? Squared minus, again, what do I get when I subtract the exponents? 8x plus, what about this one? 2x to the negative 1. Fabulous. Minus, what about this one? What do we need to do with that piece? x to the what? Negative 1. Negative, one. negative, two. negative 2. Fabulous. Now, is that a form where we can take the derivative? Yeah. Yes. So let's find f prime of x, our slope generator for our tangent line. What do we get? 10x. 10x. Minus 8. No x. Uh, plus, or just how about minus negative 2x to what power? Don't forget to subtract one from the exponent. No, negative 2. Negative 2, then what? Negative 2. Positive 2. How about plus multiplying two negatives? Positive 2. Positive 2x to what power? Negative 3. Negative 3. Do we have a perfectly good calculus answer? No. It's a perfectly good calculus answer, but, but if we want to clean it up with the algebra, we will get rid of the negative exponents. This is a correct answer. It is a correct derivative. If you were doing a free response test and that's all they asked you for, you could stop. But most of the time, this would be on multiple choice. And sometimes they leave the negative exponents in and sometimes they don't. And because they take them off sometimes, we need to be able to simplify it and write it without the negative exponents. And it's not always necessarily simplifying, it's just writing it a different way. All right, so let's see what we get here. Oh, 10 minutes. 10x minus 8, minus, eight. minus what? 2 over x squared. 2 over x squared, thank you. Then what? <laughs> Plus? Oh, so advancing. 2 over x to the third. 2 over x to the third. That is. We love that answer. Did you hear it in Yes, I've heard him talk before, like when I go to